Hey guys. G'day guys. So we just wanted to do a quick video uh, for a bit of an update and maybe even a little bit of a just emotional unload. Uh, obviously it was a pretty rough day yesterday. Um, we were in disbelief for a lot of it and um, just quite saddened to realize what had happened. Yeah. Um, we we thought like uh, a couple of things. We couldn't couldn't do a video yesterday. You know, we were frantic trying to um, organize things with authorities and and everything. But um, and then, to be honest, we just were feeling so low. Um, yeah, really deflated and, and you know, really questioning what are we doing. Um, so. Uh, and and I guess the other thing is that um, you know we did want to um, put a post out there that was a picture of the puppy, yeah, um, so that everyone could share it and it not be a video of us talking. It's, it's been good; everyone's got on board and shared it, and it's, yep. it's gotten around quite a bit. So, yeah, um, you know, we're really we're hopeful. really thankful that you know you have done that. Everybody, like yeah. it's been shared, you know thousands of times um, and it's uh, it's also um, helped with getting the attention of media that is really going to help us you know at this point um, so we've we've heard that it's on the radio um, a big national newspaper here um, in Australia is um, gonna do a story on it um, and run the photo and run the photo <laughs> Uh, obviously, we're going to post about it. Um, you know, the police are, are on to it. The police it. are currently here fingerprinting the yeah. windows and, yeah. the, and the door. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll So we're really, see what we're happens really there. We're really praying that, um, you know, somebody sees the noise that's being made and, um, you know, makes the right decision to hand it in or, you know, leave it somewhere um, responsible and... Um, you know, that that pressure is put on um, uh, and that the puppy, you know, is returned safely. Yeah. Um, so that's what we're praying for. Um, you know, we're feeling... Really low about it. Yeah. We're, we're, we're taking it quite hard because, you know... We pride ourselves on on the care for these animals and you know previously we're working with you know adult dogs that live in our house live in our lounge room and you know highly aggressive rescue dogs that sit in pounds for you know 18 months two years nobody wants them and so this has never really been something for us to consider that someone would come in and steal a dog um, and we do have, you know, a whole heap of dogs of our own that alert us to a butterfly flying past the window. So we've always felt quite secure in that fact. Um, but, you know, in hindsight, looking back, you know, there is a lot of uh, possibility. possibility that someone's just been watching these videos. They've scoped out where these dogs are what conditions they're in as in they've been separated from the main pack um our dogs uh you know go out for their late night wee and then they're back in secure uh, secure in the house so it's just been a real big eye-opener and it's really you know we 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 were a bit naive in faith in humanity you know and then something like this happens and we realize there's some bad people out there um, which is a bit of a downer in itself um, for us to to think that way, but you know this has happened, so it's a it's a it's just an all round uh, sad time for us. We are taking it quite hard, um, and you know we we went out yesterday and bought the all sorts of wireless cameras that we've put around the place now. Um, they are just a quick solution for oops sorry they are just a quick solution for us to um 
have in place until we get a professional company come out and do a professional installation of a full security system. Um, you know, and the, the cameras that we got yesterday are cameras that if people destroy them or take them, the footage is sent to the cloud so we can still grab that footage so that, you know, even if they do come onto the property, we're going to take photos of them, even if they take the cameras. So that's why we got those ones. Um, but then, yeah. Um, we ju we just didn't know what to what to come out with yesterday. We were in a bit of shambles. We were all over the place. Um, we did we didn't even contemplate whether we continue doing this, um, you know. But there has been a, a like there's been a lot of support overnight from everybody, mm. and obviously reading everyone's messages and emails. Um, you know, we realised that it is a very minute percentage yeah. of people that are like this. The majority of people are very good because um, that's all of you guys out there. Mm. So, you know, we do want to continue doing what we're doing, but the farm, you know, is not no longer just going to be dog proof. It's going to be yeah. human proof too. So It's, it's going to be harder to get in here than a special forces military base soon. <laughs> Yeah. So, you know, we're we've we're we've got a professional security company coming out, and um, we're even looking into electric fencing. So, you know, yeah, we're gonna for the animals, for the animals that are six foot high on the <laughs> fence, and um, but yeah, it's uh, it's definitely sorry. I'm turning this way because my arm's getting very very sore. Um. It's definitely something that has opened our eyes and um, we've even had quite a few donations overnight to put towards um, you know a security system which we thank you all very much if you've donated it's very very uh, generous of you and we will be putting that money to good use uh, as soon as humanly possible for um, uh, a security company to get out here and do an install um, yeah we're just we're just at a loss really we're we're trying to pick ourselves up and and continue on and um you know the the fact that there are still these dogs that we've got here and dogs in the future that need a service like what we're offering um has you know given the driving force of us wanting to continue doing this uh, it wouldn't be fair on those dogs just to abandon them and um, you know not continue anymore so that's really our our um, focus now is uh, is just to try and put all this behind us and uh, make sure nothing like this can possibly happen again and um, yeah just keep our head up really isn't it mm -hmm. keep our head up and really hope that all this attention uh, someone finds this dog or someone sees this dog uh, or this dog gets scanned at a vet and the microchip number gets flagged. Um, yeah. Um, <clears throat> and I guess just a, um, just maybe a, a note, um, if, if you are going to share a post, not this one, it, it would be the, the previous post that we made, which is a photo of, of yeah. the puppy. You know, just just in case, you know, this is the first message that you see. Um, if, it's you quite, if you if you wouldn't mind helping markings. us out and sharing the photo um, rather than the video. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. So, and that that was why one of the reasons why we didn't do a video yesterday. Yeah. Because you know, it's going to help. Um, just having that photo plastered everywhere. Yeah. So. Righto, guys. Well, sorry it wasn't more chipper this morning. Um, but yeah, and we just thought we'd give you guys an all an update. Yeah. We, at this know. stage, at this stage, it's getting out there. Yeah. We're getting, it's getting hot, so yeah. we're, we're, we're hopeful. That, that the pressure um, is on. Yeah. yeah. Righto, guys. We'll touch base with you again soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.